girls from the Winchester Tide. Hey guys, <laughs> we're too busy talking here and we're going live. Look uh, at that shining five head. Yeah. It's really hot out there today. You're it looking is live. Very hot. We're down on the Old Town Walking Mall today. Misty, where are we? <laughs> we're at Flavor Perfection. So this is an artisanal olive oil and uh, vinegar store, which is amazing to me that we have all of this yes, here. We do. So let's talk. Hey guys. Yay! Give us a heart if you're here. Uh, see, let us know if you've been here. can always see who I can joins always us tell. live, and I can't. So he doesn't have his readers on. Right. <laughs> if you've been here, let us know your favorites, olive oil or vinegar, because we're going to talk. I have to, I've seen one that I want to try already. So let's talk, first of all. Introduce our host. We have our host here, Christy. Hey, Barbara. Barbara, do you use any? Yes, I was going to ask if you use them. Good, awesome. Barbara Heinlein from Fresco Kitchen. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so she cooks a lot of our meals every week <laughs> that we eat, <laughs> and she uses your product. So, okay, about how many olive oils do we have in here? Because I see a lot. I see dozens, dozens and dozens. Yeah, and what do the flavors range from? Just Oh, we have uh, extra virgin, we have specialty oils, and we have uh, infused or fused flavor oils. Yeah, so I mean... I'm looking here. And these Espresso. are balsamics. Right. We yeah, have these, the these balsamic. are the balsamics. Yeah. So we, we have an array of white balsamics, a dark, and then uh, we do specialty uh, vinegars as well. Yeah. So I've on both never sides heard of the store. Right. Dark chocolate balsamic. It's it's delicious. What? One of the things That's that crazy. I that I love about what we do, uh, whether it's on the tour or doing these tasting Tuesdays or popping in and finding different places is discovering that there's a wide variety, little nuanced taste differences. This is much like wine tasting, beer tasting. Absolutely. Um, the variety here is exceptional from all parts of the world, uh, both on the vinegar and the oil, and, and there's a bunch of other stuff in here I see. Yeah. Honey, well, we support local. Honey. A lot of our products are Virginia products, so we like to promote that. Our balsamics are all Italian, so they are very, very good quality. We have a reputable dealer out of California that we deal with. So the olive oils are California, uh, a lot of the Mediterranean climates, you know, Spain, Portugal. So we get great product to bring here to this community. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk. Someone walks in here. What do they do? Because you have like all different sizes and they can taste everything. Right. It's a tap room and, and it's exactly that. Free samples. We explain them the layout. Maybe is there something special they're out looking for? Mm. Is there a recipe that they uh, are interested in trying? Uh, maybe they don't, so we start talking flavor. What do you? What are you looking for? Are you, do you want a great er, extra virgin that has those health benefits? We can guide them in the direction of what taste uh, flavorings uh, that they would like, and everything you can taste here. We have tiny little cups, and you can taste everything that we have. I was going to say, it, you know, I love cooking. I do a lot of the cooking at home, yeah. and. What I like about a place like this as well is that even if, like, you discover different flavors that you just didn't know were out there. So I know when I walked in here for the very first time, I yes. discovered things that it wouldn't, I, I probably have said this before, wouldn't cross your mind. And then like, you're like peach hey. balsamic. I just think of balsamic. Like, exactly. Yeah, so peach balsamic. And I love that you have we have recipes, recipes right. and by and them. them. They're, they're doing, they have samples of the peach balsamic. Oh, is that the one? Yeah. Well, and, and every day we do a pairing, uh, a basic vinaigrette, if you want to call it, and we do an olive oil and a, and a balsamic just to see what you might like. So today we did Herbe de Provence. It's a great oh, olive oil with oh. the peach balsamic. Very delicious. Oh, I just think brushed weird. on grilled chicken, mm -hmm. uh, drizzled over, I mean greens, yes, of course. Sure. But, you know, wonderful over some grilled fruit, even over well, ice that's cream. That's what I was thinking, that's yeah. Ice cream. And we're some oil today? Huh. Um, well, we do a bread dipping um, sample. It's a garlic olive oil and a traditional oh. balsamic. So oh, for those traditionalists, favorite. this is Where a perfect. Are, in front of you guys? are you having friends over? Are you sitting by the fire and you need something great to just nibble on while you have some, some beverages? That's fantastic. This is perfect. And we do sell, and we do sell Shenandoah Spice Blends, which is down in Tomsbrook. That we have great spice blends that we recommend. You can sprinkle in the oil as well, or use in your cooking. You know, cooking, grilling. Perfect for the upcoming holiday. Yeah. Now I have to breathe all that garlic on you. Wonderful. 
<laughs> yeah, the garlic, good. Actually, it's the good. garlic oil yeah. is probably one of the most popular oh, yeah. uh, flavors. Traditional oils. and strong, it's beautiful. Yes. Yes. And I know when we were in here before, you mentioned that, you know, sometimes people come in and you don't have that because there are seasonal oils. Mm -hmm. Well, different varieties. Varieties. Different all the varieties are seasonal. So we have to wait for the, the harvest to come come to be and the crop to come to us. So yeah, yeah we'll see what that's, comes soon. Yeah. yeah, that's not something that I would think of of, of olives. Like well, it's another place on the walk and all where you it. can travel the world. As I look around, I'm mm -hmm. looking at, I see Spain, I see Portugal, I see Italy. I mean, it's just, it, yeah. it's between the restaurants. Now you got the artisan uh, oils and vinegars you can pretty much travel the world and you can develop your tastes and find out what you like because the variety is amazing as Misty said I mean there's a you know as a huge coffee junkie I yeah. mean there's an espresso balsamic and you don't have to commit you know espresso balsamic how much are you going to use it they have little bottles right. those are the, the mini are, samples yeah um, that's perfect yeah. for something special that you're doing well with. and a lot of folks love to grab different flavors you want to try right. the peach you want to try the Sicilian lemon uh, the coconut Hey, give it a try, and if it's something you absolutely think, I need this in my life, you can come back and get the big I would right. totally do this, the uh, the lemon on a chicken, nice lemon oh, yeah. chicken. Sicilian lemon's great. The wild raspberry great. on a salmon, grilled Ooh, salmon is very delicious. You know, we even love the dark chocolate. Just <laughs> well, that's, I know. A great ice cream, just a scoop of vanilla ice cream, dark chocolate balsamic. That's dangerous. Well, it's, it's, the le <laughs> it's less sugar, it's got the better health benefits <laughs> than a, a chocolate syrup. Right. And we have a lot of customers coming in looking for better food for better health. Right. And that really is why. the same flavor from right. and, that yeah. they like. And, and that's why our owners, you know, Allison and Kevin Blayhut, why they started this in uh, the you know, summer of two, uh, 2014 was the health benefits that they had discovered at a store similar okay. and wanted to bring that to this community. Right. And I think, I think it's great because we didn't, we as a general public don't know that a lot of the olive oils and balsamics are not what we think they are when we buy them at the grocery store. It's right. all about the education, and that's a great segue to that. Pure, you know, particularly with the dark. Pure products, the, right. there's no added, especially the balsamics. It's right. just the, the, sh the sugar from the grape, and they are aged properly, so they don't have to add coloring to it to make it that color. There is it's a, aged in a barrel. There's, so, right. no, there's no right. point in time where you would have told me prior to coming and learning about all the olive oils and all of the uh, balsamics here that you would put vinegar on ice cream. That was right up until you try the dark chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> and then well, the, everything and the, changes. Well, and the espresso is a great addition to a barbecue sauce. We have a local truck uh, up in smoke. It's like he my mouth water. he yes. uses he that, yes. and yes. so it, it, Crash it's a great. Yummies, I think they use something. As it's well a great product to enhance if you are a, a home cook and love you know make your own barbecue or a, you know a great you know sauce for your all your rubs and barbecue you know That's grilling too. all the grilling. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, before um, we go on to some other products they have there, I want to remind everyone that they have moved. So Nibblins took over the space where we were right. previously, and now they're literally four or five buildings down, just across right. the Stalin, yeah. past yes. El Centro, across from Winchester Tie, or right here. Yeah, but we still have all the great benef yes. um, you know, the benefits of our customers doing the refill products. Uh, right. If you bring back your bottles clean and dry, we still can refill them with the product that we, that we always have. Awesome. Speaking of specialty rubs, this is just a small sampling that I got all tangled up in my fingers. I mean, steak seasoning, dry rub, Tuscan blend, chili seasoning, which is actually out as a sample today as well. I'm going to put these back. <laughs> and they are out of Tom's Brooks, so we like to, to promote local. local. We like to promote local. Yeah. And so we have honey. Right. And we do also do a local honey. We say local. No, it's not in Winchester. But it's a regional, which makes it local for our environment. Those adorable little jars. They and have we bigger just, ones as right. well. Hey guys, if you're so, here, give us a heart. Let us know if you come in what your favorite product is here. And you have local Virginia peanuts, which a lot of people love. Absolutely for great yes. flavors: lemon crab, oh, jalapeno, what's the sample today? Uh, uh, dill pickle. Dill pickle. If no, you're a pickle lover, I can't, lover, I I can't get some. behind that one. Well, there's a jalapeno, and there's salt and pepper, and a lemon crab. There's some. A maple, crab. bacon, yeah, some great flavors. Um, Interesting. And we also have a yeah, so drinking vinegar. Yeah. So I've been reading up on that. I would crab. love to hear more about the drinking vinegar. And there's 
flavor. So this is sour cherry. Yeah, it's it's okay. it's it called there. shrub. Thank it's you. a it's a colonial product. So in colonial, okay. in colonial days, they would preserve their fruit with vinegar. Mm -hmm. right. So now it has, you know, morphed into a better, I say a product now that it has a, a little bit of sugar and now it's a concentrate. So it comes, you mix, you know, basic mixed of uh, one ounce of that with six ounces of a uh, sparkling water, really, or any beverage. Um, and six ounces of premium vodka? You could, yes. You could, right. We have, cocktail. we have actual <laughs> recipes. There are recipes. Huh? We have yes, actual, you know, yeah, alcoholic yeah. and non-alcoholic recipes. Yeah. We have a lot of customers come in, say they do apple cider vinegar in the morning. Mm. Who wants to drink apple cider vinegar early in the oh. morning? Yeah, no. That would be my approach. So I challenge them to give this a little sip, and we have a lot of folks come in. They love it. Right, you can mix it in, do a white wine spritzer. Um, you know, some great recipes alcoholic or not, but it's those digestive properties of vinegar that we want. Yeah, Maybe right. without the harshness of vinegar. It, but yes, it was a right. product that Martha yeah. Washington served in the White House. So I always say if it's good enough for her in the White House, it's good enough for us. <laughs> a little bit of history there. <laughs> yes. Speaking of history, I know that Flavor Perfection's been down in the walk mall for quite a while. Um, when did uh, when did you all get started uh, uh, down here? It was summer 2014 when they uh, brought Flavor Perfection. It's just one business, it's not part of a chain. Mm -hmm. um, our That's owners, awesome. Allison and Kevin Blayhut, they had been in a similar store and thought it was wonderful and they loved the health benefits of pure olive oil and great balsamics and wanted to bring that to our community. Yeah, um, so I need to point out one other thing. So they have salt glasses, shot glasses. We do the Himalayan salt blocks. Yes. You can cook, you can serve, awesome. and then they have the tiny little glasses that I think a great tequila would make. I was going to say, say, what? Yeah, tequila in it, that would yes. be perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, guys, well, you need to come down here and try. They have tastings every single day. They're free. Come in. You will definitely be blown away by just all the different flavors, blackberry, ginger, blueberry, dark chocolate, espresso. I mean, I have never thought... I mean, I always add stuff to olive oil, but I never thought. Right, rosemary and basil, rosemary, some great yeah, flavor. The Tuscan stuff. is a great uh, blend yeah, of but flavors I've never with the oil. So right, many right. Of these. But it's we do incredible. have a website. Um, it's just flavorperfection.com. Uh, if you want to go in, we ship. Uh, if you have a gift, let's say you're traveling, you don't want to carry it around with you, or you just have everything shipped to your house, we do that as well. Or if you're great for guests who are yeah, visiting. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Great staff. I was here before we went live. There were uh, patrons in the store. Uh, they had a lot of questions. Got to try a, a quite a, uh, a variety of different samples and left educated and happy with their purchase. Now, you mentioned the website just so that we make sure we spell it correctly because one of my favorite things to say here is, do you see what I did there? So let's see what they did with the spelling. It is flavor. F L A V O R Perfection P O U R F E C T I O N dot com Flavor Perfection. Do you see what they did there? No. <laughs> you know, I'm my own best audience. Those of you who join us every Tasty Tuesday already know that. Okay, so you can find them on the walking mall and you're open normally you're closed Tuesdays. We're testing so Mondays and testing. Tuesdays, but you know okay. Wednesday through Sunday for sure, eleven to at least six. We've been doing uh, seven o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays. So you can okay. always give us a call if you're not sure if you're going to head down, uh, if we're going to be open uh, and your extra. Number? I don't have that. Thing. It's on the website. <laughs> no one memorizes <laughs> their phone own numbers. phone number. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Flavorperfection.com has all of the contact information, and we can find you on Facebook as well. And we have right. It's uh, and it's Flavor Perfection LLC is our Facebook page. Okay. So every day we have something of great recipes and oh. pairings with uh, recipes that we think our patrons would like to, to try when they get in. Okay, awesome. Are you guys staying open a little later for First Friday? Do you know? We do fr uh, 7 o'clock on Friday. Yeah. Okay. And we will be open yeah. on the 4th. You know, we're open, oh. we're open tomorrow okay. so you can swing down before you hit the fireworks and grab your spices and grab your, your local peanuts. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be here on the 4th. And yeah, we go 7 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And awesome. we are tastewinchesterhistory.com. We're also available on Facebook, and we'll give you all of the contact information for Flavor Perfection on our write up a little bit later today when we post this video on the blog. And we hope to see you out on the mall. We'll be down here for, uh, I don't know, we'll be staying for fireworks tomorrow, but we'll be down here for music and stuff. So have a good day.
Have a happy 4th, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.